Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at five common issues and questions with viewports in AutoCAD and to make things a little interesting, since Two Minute Tuesdays are never actually only two minutes, if you guys can put down a guess in the comments down below of how long you think this video is going to be without cheating and looking at the timestamp, I'm going to pick a few random winners to send a free copy of the AutoCAD Productivity Handbook available on my site. Doesn't matter if you get the answers right or wrong, just leaving a comment, making an effort, putting a valuable uh, observation, anything like that in the comments down below. I'll pick a few random ones and send you some links. So take a second, do that right now, and then we're going to start the video. <laughs> All right, so number one is what do I do when you get stuck in a viewport? So this can happen often if you don't have a lock on your viewport, which we'll touch on later, and you've activated the viewport. So you can see here I'm moving around in this viewport, I'm zooming out, maybe you've edited some of the objects or line work, or you've made some changes to some text and you want to get out without having to hit undo a bunch of times or you've happened to get to this place and you feel like you're stuck in the viewport, you can't get back to your layout tab. Now there's two ways out. You can type in P space for paper space or simply click the model button down at the bottom here and that's gonna switch you back to paper space. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to fix your uh, location and scale, uh, but this is gonna get you out without having to undo and lose any edits or changes you might've made or if you're just stuck in there, Again, you're inside, you can type P space to switch back to model space. All right, so number two is what happens when you can't select a viewport when it's within another viewport. So you can see I have a viewport over here, but when I double click to activate it, it actually activates the outer viewports surrounding it. This can be a pain uh, and kind of difficult when you don't know what's happening or why you can't activate a viewport. And it's typically because it's within another viewport. Using control and holding it down and hitting R is going to allow you to quickly and easily cycle through activating any of your viewports within your layout space. So again, if you're trying to get into a viewport that's within another and you're running into this issue, hold control and tap R to cycle through your viewports to easily activate the one you're looking for. Then once activated, you can make changes and double click outside or use the trick before to deactivate your viewport. All right, so number three is what do I do if my layers or objects or text aren't showing up in one viewport but they are showing up in another viewport or in my model space. If you just can't get them to show up and you can't figure out why, chances are they're on a frozen viewport. Now there's a couple ways to check this. If they are showing up in one, you can double click and select it and see what layer it's on. You can see here that it is thawed in this viewport as well as in the drawing. If we go to this viewport, you can see that the text layer is actually frozen. You can also do this by hitting the fly down and looking for any frozen layers and thawing them by clicking on it. This is gonna allow you to control what's visible in each viewport, but if you don't know that a layer is frozen, it can appear that it's disappeared. Uh, it's always best to activate the viewport and check that there are no frozen layers preventing you from seeing your objects or text. All right, so next up is the question or issue of why can't I move or pan around my viewport? So you can see here I've activated this viewport, but I can no longer move it or zoom in and out of the viewport. It's my entire layout space that is moving and zooming. Now this is typically due to the viewport being locked. Locking a viewport will prevent us from accidentally shifting or changing the scale or location of the viewport. But if you don't realize it's locked, it may be confusing as to why you can't move anything. Selecting the viewport and clicking on the lock icon down in the bottom here is going to unlock or lock your icon or your viewport, allowing you to move or not to move your object. So you can see I've unlocked it and now I can move around my model space, double clicking to get out. You can also select multiple viewports, right click and choose display lock and choose yes or no 
Yes will lock it and no will unlock it. Choosing yes locks our viewports quickly so they can't accidentally be shifted or moved. All right, so the last tip we're gonna be taking a look at today is how do I set up a viewport to simply show everything in my model space? Maybe this is just for a test plot and you don't care about scale, you just want everything to fit nicely. Now you can simply create a viewport and zoom and move something around, but if you have multiple objects or an odd scale, that can be kind of a pain. Activating the viewport, typing Z or Z and enter, and then E for the extents, is going to perfectly zoom to the extents of the objects within model space, fitting them within the space that you've created uh, out of your viewport here. So you can see it's fit these two floor plans as best as it can and as large as it can, given the constraints of our viewport size, by simply hitting Z, enter, and then E, enter for zoom extents while we're inside the viewport, zooming everything into the extent of the viewport. So that's it for the five tips today. If you guys enjoyed these ones, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course available now at a discount for viewers and subscribers. I'm gonna put that link up above as well as down below. It's packed full of tips that I think you guys are gonna really enjoy and it's gonna give you a jump start or a boost to your CAD career uh, quickly and easily. Again, if you guys put that comment down below earlier, uh, I'll be checking those out later in the week and I'm gonna pick some random comments and send some links. I'll send you a message on here and get your information. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below to keep up with all of my tips and videos and sign up for the free newsletter where I send out uh, the videos as well as news updates and information in the industry. That link is gonna be down below as well. As always, thanks for watching and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.